This is the Australian National University Law Library. This video looks at how changes to a piece of legislation can be traced over time and how to find related bills and explanatory memoranda for an Act. We will look at the Native Title Act 1993 as an example and how this Act was most significantly amended by the Native Title Amendment Act 1998. The Native Title Act 1993 is a piece of legislation that has had a complicated history. In 1998, the Native Title Amendment Act, known as the Ten Point Plan, was introduced by the Howard government in response to the WIC decision in the High Court. This plan led to the longest debate in the Australian Senate's history. To find an authorised version of the Native Title Act, go to the Federal Register of Legislation. Endnotes, also called historical notes or just notes in other jurisdictions, are included in legislation to outline when an Act came into force or commenced and how it has changed over time. Endnotes are found at the end of each Act. From the Table of Contents section, select Expand All and scroll to the end of the list to find the Endnotes section. The Endnotes include two key parts, Legislation History, Endnote 3, and Amendment History. Endnote 4. Amendment history allows you to track how a particular section in the Act has been amended. For example, Section 12 was repealed by Act No. 97 of 1998, the Native Title Amendment Act 1998. Legislation history lists all the legislation that has amended this Act. From this list, we can see that the Native Title Amendment Act 1998 has made many changes to the Native Title Act. Legislation history also includes details of when the Act received assent and came into force and commencement information. Some Acts have complicated commencement provisions, so you might need to read the table carefully to work out the commencement dates. For example, Schedule 3, Items 14 to 37, did not commence until the 1st of July 2000, with all other schedules and items commencing in 1998. Alternatively, you may need to find a historical version of an Act to determine what the law was at a certain point in time, or determine an Act's relationship with other laws. To find this information, go to the View Series link. The Compilations tab lists the current and all previous versions of the Act. The Principle and Amendments tab lists all legislation amending the Principal Act, that is, the Act you are tracking. The Enables tab lists all the legislative instruments made under the Native Title Act 1993. The final table, Related Bills, provides access to copies of all the bills introduced to Parliament to amend the Act. The Native Title Amendment Act 1998 was introduced to Parliament twice and as a result has two associated bills, the Native Title Amendment Bill 1997 and the Native Title Amendment Bill 1997 No. 2. An explanation of the history of this bill is outlined in the explanatory memorandum of the second bill. Explanatory memoranda are useful in understanding the objective of a bill and how it will operate. These can be a useful resource when examining legislation. To access explanatory memoranda, click on the link for the bill and then select the Download tab, where you can download a PDF version of the explanatory memoranda. In addition to the history of the bill, the 10-point plan is also included in the explanatory memorandum. For information on how to cite legislation bills and explanatory memoranda, go to the AGLC Referencing Style Guide.